What do you do when you fail an assignment or fail a test in grad school? We're talking about that right now. Hey everybody, I'm Lee Hall from teachingacademia.com and I'm all about giving you the tools you need to navigate academia and make your best impact. Today we're talking about, we're in the middle of the rejection series, and we're talking about how to respond when you fail or don't do so well on an assignment or a test. So when I say test, I don't mean something big like a comprehensive exam. We're gonna have a separate video about what does it mean if you fail your comprehensive exams. Um, but maybe, you know, like with a statistical, you took a test in stats class, you didn't do so well on it. You had a final paper that you turned in for a course and you didn't do so well on it, okay? Or maybe there was a short assignment along the way and you kind of bombed out on that, okay? So that's what we're talking about here. So first of all, know that when you experience this, you might outright fail, you might just not be happy with the grade that you got, okay? Um, take a break, right? Feel what you're gonna feel, okay? But also step back from that situation, take a couple days, take some time to process what happened, take some time to process the feedback, all right? If you are gonna go talk to your, um, the course instructor, definitely give it a couple of days. So for example, if I just found out that I did really poorly on a stats exam and I was really concerned and really upset that I wasn't gonna do so well in the class and I felt stuck, I didn't know what to do, I wouldn't go the day that I got the exam to talk to the instructor. And I wouldn't go the next day either. I would give it a two to three day break so that I would have a chance to calm myself down, right? When I go to see the instructor, I'm still gonna have these concerns, right, about, oh my gosh, I'm not understanding this really well, am I even gonna pass this class? But after a couple days, what I'm gonna have been able to do is really identify for me the core things that I'm concerned about that I need to have get help with and have a discussion about. And then I'm bringing that to the table. So it ends up being a much more mindful discussion as opposed to if I went running to the instructor right after I failed the exam, and then I'm having a much more reactionary moment, right? So that's what we really want here is that we want you to have these mindful engagements. That's what I'm going for, where you have mindful engagements with people around your work when it falls short and not reactionary ones.